Dope, 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 dope. And um, okay. Track oh, about one of these tracks also. The track out of my way. Okay. How did you link up with LB to get that track together? Going crazy. Fuck on my way, chick. I'm high in a wavy. Yeah. I'm blinking for safety. Yeah. My money had babies. Yeah. I'm weak in a big brown bag. Yo, honestly, just DM'd him for future still. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he came through still. So. He dealt with the track nice. Okay, okay. And you guys recorded it in the studio together? No. Nah. I've actually never been like to a studio with a rapper. I usually always just record it and send it to them or vice versa. Okay, okay, okay. Well shit, man. You know it's crazy because I'm I'm i I'm old school. Yeah. Right? So we came from the time where when we were doing tracks, a lot of the time like we were always in the studio together. We didn't have the means yeah to like send tracks to each other you know what i'm saying yeah no i hear that honestly the funny thing is i'm usually at the studio by myself to be honest mm -hmm. literally um the first couple times and shit i brought like a one-two friend mm -hmm. it was cool they gave a little criticism and me up a little one two but nah whenever i hit the studio i have my shit already ready like I, i'm not one of those guys who um hits the studio and starts like freestyling mm. i always go there with everything ready mm -hmm. and like i said i go to the same engineer now every single time so, like, I just book, like, X amount of hours and yeah. then just go to work, so. Yeah, yeah, dope, dope, dope. Yeah. And even, like, I was listening to one of your tracks earlier before we even started the session, right? And your flow patterns that you had on the tune, the, the, the same tune with LB, right? Yeah. You had a really dope flow pattern on it, right? That's and right. it brings me to, like, to writing and stuff like that, right? When you're writing, what's your starting point to know this is going to be my 16 bars? Like, are you putting down the flow first? And then putting the words in, or there's like a certain word that sparks you, and then bam, you got your whole sixteen. I usually, um, I usually like, I just go listen to bare beats. Mm -hmm. Now people are sending me beats. Actually, now a lot of people are sending me beats. Thankfully, yeah. But before I was just listening to bare YouTube beats, and I would freestyle over it. Mm -hmm. And then, like, if I remember something, then I'll write that. But if not, like sometimes it's, I just get the flow, and I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna rock with that. But honestly, sometimes I'm even just like listening to one of my favorite rappers or some shit. Mm -hmm. and I'm just like, yo, this track's hard. And then like, it's kind of like hand in hand, like the flow a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I just go grab my own beat and write my own shit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't, like I don't have um I don't have friends that like do any music with me. That's the thing. Okay. Friends are always doing this by themselves. But so you're it's, the only it's harder it's harder doing that but you know gotta teach myself everything yeah so you're the only one in your in your crew of friends that do music yeah wow wow yeah. wow wow no. wow they actually don't do anything still they, they, they support me but mm -hmm. like that's what i'm saying like you know like friend would even come to the stew but like they don't do no music so it's just like yeah, yeah. it's just like fuck it like man's just man's are out here doing the music by themselves so you know what it, it's you're not in a small world dog yeah okay most artists you know, even though we're in a world where a lot of people are rappers, um, there's a lot of people in that situation where, yeah. you know, they're the one, two guys in a crew of, let's say, five, six people yeah. that, that rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it kind of takes time where, like, you'll see where you'll start, because you're getting on a wave. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you'll start seeing that wave picking up, picking up, picking up. And then you'll start seeing the support coming through a little bit more. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You, you know what I mean? And even, like, we were, as we were talking about beats and stuff like that, right? That track out of my way that you have with LB. Um, at first, like it shows the video says actually Little Skies um, under the comments. People were saying that it was the Little Skies Juice yeah. World type beat, yeah. right? Made by a guy named uh, Brufer's Beats, or yeah, I don't know something like that, right? So, have you ever heard of the, the the actual song, or did you get the beat originally from that guy? Like, did you fully lease it out, kind of thing? No. Nah. <laughs> it was yeah. It just said it just said free YouTube beat. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I yeah. just took that stuff. Hey, hey, it is what it is. Like I've yeah, made full like, mixtapes off of those. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It's like stuff. Hey, um, who's your favorite artist? <laughs> My favorite artist? Yeah, not like growing up on, but like your favorite artist right now that you're listening to heavy. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know if I have a favorite artist right now, but, like, my top influencer is 100% Lil Skies. Okay, okay. Like, he had, when he came out with that album, mm -hmm. I was bumping that bear. But he hasn't came out with an album in a while, so, like, I, I just listen to his tracks on one, two now. Yeah. But, like, if you throw on any of his tracks, basically, like, 
word for word like get like inspired by that shit like you know like man's connected to him so yeah 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 okay and like what is it in like the things that little sky says in his rhymes and stuff that, that connects with you um honestly it seemed kind of like he was kind of alone mm-hmm. and he was like you know a little trapper and he just came up on his grind and like the way he talks about shorties and shit and like the one two getting high and shit like that it's just i don't, I don't know and, and the flow's nice too like like i haven't tried to do like no super hard tracks you know like i'm not trying to make no like chief keith music or something yeah, like that yeah, you know yeah. like trying to stay in my lane a bit because honestly i get a lot of hate being white you know so like mm-hmm. i gotta you know i gotta stay you know like not trying to make no grungy music you know like i just gotta get something that like a lot of people can relate to like yeah yeah open, you know yeah and actually that brings me to one of my questions that i that i i ask, actually ask um a lot of uh, white rappers and stuff like that right or yeah do you have to like what's the white rapper backlash look like you know what i mean because I, there's always and not to interrupt you like there's always that little extra struggle like yeah. well yeah. How, how how what are you gonna do white boy type of thing right yeah so like what did that look like for you in your comments and stuff like that honestly on ig it was just a lot of like trash like trash mm-hmm. but like say out of my way and athlete are the two tracks i dropped on kr right right that's not really a regular kr production sound yeah like going with kr i, I knew like Loki, I was gonna get a lot of hate. Like, man has like fourteen thousand subscribers. Mm-hmm. So it's like, if you're, if you're waiting for like a track like Casper's track or like K Money to like drop or something, like obviously this track's gonna sound way different. Yeah. So like, I knew I was gonna get a lot of hate right off the jump, but it's just like I'm just going in the way of exposures. All exposures good, you know. Yeah. So like, you know, I like, just just keep talking about my name, you know, like, you know, like I'll some like I used I used to reply to the comments, you know, I used to. I used to entertain them, but mm. I don't entertain it no more. But like, it's whatever. Hey, it's it's a uh, it's a work in progress. Even for 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 us uh, or me myself, as somebody yeah. who's been working online for a, lo- a long time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. got to just uh, work past the comments. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. I Definitely. always ne- never ignore it completely. I always read. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Because sometimes there's constructive criticism in there. Yeah. But for the most part. People won't comment under anything unless there's a lot of views under it. Not nah, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? They aren't stressing unless you're popping still. So. Exactly. Um, okay, so you have a track with Top 5 coming? Is that what I'm seeing here? Yeah. Mm. A so, little audio coming out. Okay, so what was that like working with Top 5 and how'd you hook up with him? Mm. He hit me up still. He honestly hit me up. And just paid him for a feature. Got the track ready. Nice track. It's going to be hard still. Okay, okay. We'll be dropping on all streaming services soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you guys planning on working on a video or something maybe? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. My next video is going to be with Berna. Okay. And Berna's going to be in the video still. Berna Bands? Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. That's We Love Hip Hop alumni right there. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on the episode with uh, with the FB. Ah, uh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope, dope, dope. And what's that track like? So tell tell me about that track. Yo, honestly, that track's hype. That that's that was my most um hype track in the vault. Like it, like I'm spitting really fast in that track, mm-hmm. and it's on like a pretty hard, like fast tempo beat. Okay. Um. Yeah, I had it for a little while. Still, I was like debating who to um get on it, and yeah. literally just last week I got burned on it. Okay. Okay. And he, and y'all just you hit him up like same thing like DMs yo let's yeah. get on the track right yeah so that brings me to another question because you have different collabs going on here right what makes you when you hear the track say I want to get this person on it rather than just that person what I'm talking about or like you know if I can picture them flowing on it like say out of my way. Mm-hmm. Pop on my lead, please don't judge me. Please don't try me. I'm Penny, I'm wavy. Out of my way, please. Party going crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, like I like my I I hit the booth like trying to make my voice high and shit. Mm-hmm. Like it's like a I don't even know how to describe that type of beat, but it's just like the way like I just heard LB on that. Yeah. Like I don't 
I can't even I can't even say like an, like I wouldn't want like biz loc on that you know what I mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I was like, it's a different know, contract yeah like I'll like I'll 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 be sounding like I was like yeah he'll he'll flow on that shit mm-hmm. sauce it up yeah and that was a good choice yeah yeah same true still so that's the same thing like with burner bands like you you you, you yeah. got your new track and you're like you're hearing the beat and you're like burner yeah bands be no the it. the burner bands tracks a little hard mm-hmm. like a little harder and I'm not like singing kind of as much. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just spitting like faster. Yeah, just getting straight to the point on that one. Yeah. Okay. Well, honestly, okay. when you when you hear the lyrics, you'll be like, once you hear the chorus, you'll just be like, yeah, you want know, a picture burn on that. Okay.